I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the Review MSX1 helmet. It's available in graphic, there's one graphic, and then there are solid colorways. The price spans from $399 to $479. Weight in a size medium on our digital shipping scale, 3.85 pounds. It is DOT and ECE 2205 certified. Sizing available, it's going to span from extra small to 2XL. Let's benchmark our sizing right now. I measure 58 centimeters on the money, intermediate oval head shape. The medium helmet in this thing fits me spot on. It's got a good, comfortable fit. I would also say that the actual shell shape is primarily intermediate oval. So this is going to fit most people well. No restocking fees here at STG. Get the helmet from us. Leave the stickers and such on it, right? Don't ride it yet. Wear it in the house. Make sure you love the fit and you're happy with it before you take it out on the road. That way, if you need to set it back for an exchange or a return, you'll avoid all the hassles, avoid all the fees. Free shipping for any order over $40 to the lower 48 United States with really affordable international rates. Okay, before we just start talking features and benefits with this helmet, we're going to get right to the chase. This is the helmet that has that rear view mirror built into it, right? We can get into a lot of real scientific details about optical distance and all this stuff, but there's been a lot of research and development that went into this system. This system is used in other industries, okay? They've integrated it into this helmet. I think at the end of the day, if you take a look at the helmet itself, it's not a bad looking lid, so they're able to integrate it into this helmet without creating something that you wouldn't want to wear because it's important. We all know that when we're out there riding around, you still want to look decent. You want to feel good about the way you look. So they're able to accomplish the integration without destroying that. Now, let's talk about how it works and how you should use it. And then I'm going to go into the features, benefits, pull this thing apart and talk about the other things. But if you're looking at the review, you are focused primarily on that safety feature built in of being able to see what's behind you. You use that with your mirrors and it really enhances the safety of the ride for sure. So this is where the image will come in. It is then they have this whole system here on the top right where that image is brought to the front of the helmet. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to drop this way down using the supply tool to give you an idea of how far down this travels. Okay, that right there is how far down that optic screen will travel. And you can clearly see that begins to work its way into your field of vision. When you first get this helmet, what you're going to want to do is you're probably, from its factory position, you are probably going to want to lower it a bit. But your end goal should be getting this as far out of your field of vision as possible. What I found in wearing this is the more I wear it, the more I get used to it, the further up I'm able to retract that device. And still, because once you're, you're trained to it, your body, your eyes, your mind are trained to that image being there, right? It's instinctively kind of in your field of vision. So that allows you to bring that optic screen up even higher so it's pulling it out of your forward view, okay? So that's important. When you first get it, you might want to drop it just a couple of clicks so it's a little more visible to you, right? You don't have to look up as much, but when you've really dialed this thing in and you're used to wearing it, you're going to find that you kind of pick up those images that are behind you without even really lifting your eyes up, right? You'll be able to see what's happening right behind you without looking up or looking behind you. Takes a little time, takes a little practice, and you have to commit to getting used to it. So, once again, give you a fully retracted view here, and hopefully Tyler's going to give you a nice close-up. When you're up this far, you are out. It, it is no longer usable. So it can retract all the way up to where you can't even see it. <clears throat> and then we'll give you an idea of what it looks like when it's all the way down, which we would not recommend using it when it's this far exposed because you, you start to get it to a point where it's in your field of vision so much 
that the safety benefit you pick up from behind is negated a little bit because that can be distracting and that is in your forward field of vision far too much. Okay, so once again, where it comes from the factory is where you want to begin. Initially, you may want to drop it a couple of clicks. They give you this handy little tool to do it with. Train yourself, practice, ride with it, commit to it, and then try and cheat that thing back up to where it was and get it pulled out as much as possible so it is as safe as possible. Okay, the helmet itself. It's going to have all the other features and benefits that we're typically used to. Right? They worked hard to be able to bring in a, a decent ventilation scheme with this. Got an intake vent up here in the brow. You have an intake vent down here in the chin. The action on the vents, both good, they feel like quality pieces. The exhaust ventilation for this is going to be managed through these ports here, kind of Venturi style. You'll lose some through the neck roll as well. Removable, replaceable, washable interior. They used nice fabrics. Comes complete with a chin curtain. It has a quick release system, right? The micro adjust stuff. It's actually kind of cool. You dial it in here with the D-rings to get it just right, and then it's easy on, easy off from there. Shield mechanism. It's got detents all the way up, and the shield itself, to release it, you press forward, pops right off, pops right off. There are dark smoke screens, tinted screens available for the helmet as well. And then for reinstallation, okay, not a bad system. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. I mean, it's a pretty, what I would label a pretty generic system, but it's easy to use. I think most riders are going to have no trouble with a shield swap. Got a very reasonable field of vision, right? That changes a little bit as you are committed to using this rear view mirror, which takes up part of that field of vision. But once again, like I said, if this is something that you're really interested in, you're doing this because you want that added bonus of being able to see behind you. Now to remove the interior, go ahead and grab that chin curtain that is literally pinched in there, okay, between the shell and the EPS. Got kind of a large gasket here around the bottom as well. To remove the cheek pads, three snap design. Held in there like so. Nice snaps, no problem. Same deal on the other side. Top pad, a couple of snaps here in the back. Velcro up here in the front. <clears throat> See good quality liner. Liner is removable, washable, as well as being replaceable. To keep the helmet quiet, they actually have internally, okay, they are covering the vents, right? So it has to flow through this fabric here. That just helps to keep the thing, you know, quieter, the operation of the helmet itself. Nice padded chin strap here for comfort. And let's see if you can give them a close-up. Can you see that rearview mirror? I'm going to turn it. How about that view right there? A little better? Just to give you an idea of exactly what you're getting. Once again, I think that you know the main motivation for this quality piece, and it's got the tri-composite shell, all those good things, top crumple zone, comfort fit, okay, it's got all those features. It's a nice helmet. But if you're looking at this, you are 100% motivated by this rear view system, and honestly, it works. It definitely works. You have to commit to getting used to it for sure, right? It's going to be a little different at first because let's be realistic. We're not used to being on a motorcycle and being able to see what's behind us while we're riding without glancing down at the mirror or without doing a head check. And the review offers you the ability to do just that.